Bot family, welcome to number 3.78 million video, I think. Actually, I think it's number 64, 65. Uh, tomorrow's Rala Daily, you're going to accumulate a one mile walk or jog, so you can knock that out in as many sets as you need to. Uh, take a break the, during those conference calls. Uh, maybe you can bring the kids for a walk, just shake it up the other day, but let's get that mile in. Tomorrow's warm up, three to four sets for quality, eight to 10 lunges, so that's about four to five reps per leg, eight to 10 sit-ups, eight to 10 good mornings, and then 100 to 200 meter run. So for your lunges, find a towel for your knee, for your knee if you need to, you're gonna step down, feet together, step down, feet together, for your sit-ups. Uh, if you need to make it, get an at-home ab mat, just roll up that towel, make like a, like a little lower lumbar support here, you're gonna sit in that butterfly position, put your gun in front of you, Reach back, put your shoulders on the ground, right back up, and right back again. Your good morning. If you don't have a PVC pipe, use, use, your, this is my neighbors. They probably think we're psychos. Use, uh, I don't know what this is called, like a mop. I would call that a mop. Yeah, you can do your good mornings here. Soften the knee, you're gonna hinge up that hip until your chest is flat on the ground, so right back up, right back down, and right back up. Your 100 to 2 meter run, you're going to run outside, should take one, no more than a minute here. Guys, if it's raining, sub that out for a minute of uh, step ups, mountain climbers, maybe some jump rope or some jumping jacks. Tomorrow, strength. Every two minutes for six sets, we have one minute of max mountain climbers, followed by seven to 12 odd object deadlifts. So mountain climbers, we we'll put both hands on the ground in front here, get those knees towards those elbows and move as quickly as you can. One minute, it's kind of a long time, so you might have to get through a few breaks there, but just do your best and work for that entire minute as much as you can. Seven to 12 odd object deadlifts. So if I don't have dumbbells or kettlebells or a barbell, I can use whatever I have at home. So these are a few examples here. Uh, guys, someone today is actually asking me classes, like did you fill up your paint cans or jugs with anything? I actually did not, but some members have chosen to put in like pebbles and rocks and things to make them heavier. So get, like, get creative, work them up whatever you need to. Uh, for the odd object deadlift, we can do two versions. If you have two items, you can do a traditional style deadlift. Just like that good morning, you're gonna soften the knee, hinge of those hips, hit the ground, stand right back up again, right back down, right back up. If you only have to have, you can have one object or your one object is heavy enough, we're gonna go to a, wow, why can I, what's this one called? A deadlift. With one hand? A deadlift. Yeah, I think I just pointed that up. <laughs> yeah, this is your second like offer. Sorry, guys, I found something that's stupid. All right, um, that is going to be your automatic deadlift. So use two items or just one, whatever you have paint cans, gallon jugs, dumbbells, kettlebells, you do you. Tomorrow's workout 11 minute AMRAP, 15 pull ups, 15 burpees to a target. If you don't have access to a pull up bar, one, Jake is, will repost the link to the video on, I know, I know, it's so That's bad. That's a pull-up sub. I know, I Not know. a burpee sub. Guys, you gotta do burpees. Jay will repost tonight the sheet over the door trick with the knots. So if you don't have access to a pull-up bar or, or some kind of pulling station, it's actually a great modification for ring rows. Otherwise, bent over rows. Same thing applies to you. Either do your two objects, okay? Bent over row or my bent over row, okay? Let's say we have one object, then I'll probably just call it maybe eight bent over rows on my right, and I would switch and do eight on my left. If I don't happen to have a bench, guys, that's totally fine. Just keep, keep those shoulders square. Don't let yourself rotate during that movement. That's probably gonna make your back a little bit cranky. Burpees to a target. I'm gonna use the edge of my garage to my target. I'm gonna drop down, chest to deck, pop up, and hit my target. I can always step back, lay down, step up, and same thing here. All right, once you get done with your workout, you need a core cash out, three to four sets, 50 flutter kicks, 10 to 15 hollow body rocks, 10 to 15 weighted sit ups, and then one minute superman hold. So for your flutter kick, you're gonna lay back on your back, put your hands underneath the small of your back, and from here, you're gonna flutter for 50 kicks here. So one, two, all the way to 50. Minute number two, hollow body rock. So one, two, all the way to 10, 15. Minute number three, you are weighted, sit up. So I like to 
anchor my feet against something, uh, just find something in your house, like, like underneath the lip of your couch. Grab onto something, put it on your chest, lean back, and come on up. Last but not least, you're gonna have your Superman hold. So you'll lay down, reach up away from you, squeeze your bottom, and hang out for a minute. See y'all tomorrow.